In today's activity, we're going to teach students how to take a live goldfish and look at it under a microscope to look at the blood vessels and circulation in the tail. The students will learn the difference between the types of blood vessels and how the blood circulates. The materials we need for today's activity are goldfish, preferably lighter colored goldfish so you can see the vessels easier, cotton balls, a petri dish, a medicine or eyedropper, and a microscope. To begin this activity, we will first start by unwrapping a cotton ball. We unroll it into a flat sheet and then wet it in the water from the fishbowl. While the cotton is still wet, we lay it flat in the petri dish so that we can now add a fish to the petri dish and gently wrap it in the cotton to keep it nice and wet. Now that we have the fish in the petri dish wrapped in wet cotton, we can keep him moist by using water from the fish tank in the eyedropper. Before we put the fish onto the microscope, we want to make sure that the stage is all the way down so that the lenses don't hit the petri dish. And we want it to be on a low power, like 4x. Now we can put the petri dish onto the microscope and focus in on the fish's tail. Now we can see the small blood vessels and the blood running through them. Now that we have the microscope focused on the vessels and blood in the fish's tail, we need to keep a few things in mind. You may think the scales are actually the blood cells, but the blood cells are a lot smaller, really tiny. And another thing to remember is that a microscope flips the image. So what looks like it's going toward the fish's head is actually going toward the tail. Just a few things to keep in mind. There's a few things we can teach the students about the blood vessels. The first vessels are the arteries, moving away from the heart of the fish very quickly. The second vessels are the veins, moving toward the heart of the fish in a more pulsatile fashion. And lastly are the capillaries, the slowest and smallest, about the width of one red blood cell for nutrient exchange. We don't want the fish to be out for more than about five minutes, so now that we're done, we need to put him back in the water tank. So all we need to do is carefully remove the cotton, making sure there's no cotton left on the fish and then gently place him back into his tank. 